Two years ago, Dream released his very first manhunt ever, and now, 28 million subscribers and over 1 billion views later, it's over. And in its wake is the biggest question on everyone's mind, what happens now? It's hard to even imagine that Dream has uploaded 49 videos before ever doing a single manhunt. He got his jump into popularity by making content centered around PewDiePie, then dove into gimmick Minecraft videos and the Unsolved Mystery series. After that, Dream started uploading challenge videos, and then came Manhunt. Manhunts were spectacular. The excitement, skill, ingenuity, and intensity rocketed Dream's popularity from being another successful YouTuber to not just being the most popular Minecraft YouTuber, but to becoming a YouTube icon. But now, manhunts are over. Dream stated that he will be taking a break from manhunt, which will be a huge change for his channel. But I think I know what's coming. Before we even break down what's coming, we have to look at Dream as a person. To be in Dream's position is something that every content creator wants. He's at a place where it almost doesn't matter what he uploads. Almost. What I mean is that he could upload any video and it would get over a million views. Would it get the same amount of views as a manhunt? I doubt it, but that's not the point anymore. Dream is in a position where money isn't the issue, but rather longevity. And in order to keep that going, he needs to continue to have a passion for making videos. The videos that he makes can't feel like an overwhelming task, or he'll burn out. I definitely think that we will get a mix of videos in these upcoming months. The idea that Dream will immediately create a series as popular as The Manhunt is so incredibly unlikely that it's almost not worth speculating. Even if you look at The Manhunt series, it took until the 200th video for the series to truly take off, and that video was Dream's 25th upload after the first Manhunt. It took 25 videos for Manhunt to become THE series. Since the 200's video, Dream has uploaded only 17 videos that weren't one of the normal Manhunts, and 9 of those 17 videos are variations of Manhunt. So will Dream's next upload be a Manhunt variant, or something entirely different? I'm willing to bet it'll be something different. I doubt that Dream will try to create a whole new series, but a challenge video would be no surprise. Manhunts are what made us fall in love with Dream's YouTube channel, but his challenge videos are what made us fall in love with him. As much as these videos seem to resolve around what the challenge actually was, what made us stay and watch the whole video was the relationship between Dream, George, and Sapnap. We got to see what Minecraft really is about friends getting together to have a good time. But why would this be Dream's next upload? I mean, I know we love these videos, but what about Dream himself? Two reasons. To take a step back, when looking at making YouTube videos, you don't just look for what will be the easiest video to make, you want to find something that requires at least some amount of effort. When you put in work to a video and see it pay off, it can be the most rewarding experience. Even if you put a crazy amount of effort into making something and it completely flops, you can at least still take pride in your work. The second reason is because of the enjoyment making the videos. With the challenge videos, Dream puts in the effort by having to code them himself. Even if the video doesn't do as well as Manhunt, he gets the joy of watching his coding run in the game. And on top of that, you can hear a different kind of joy from Dream when he records these videos with George or Sapnap. But what else will we see? We will see one Unsolved Mysteries video. Only one. This series has definitely been laid to rest for the most part, but there is a huge enjoyment in creating your own theory about whatever your interest may be, but what will it look like? I honestly have no idea. It could be about the next Minecraft update, the Aether being added, Minecraft lore, MCC, but I'm honestly not sure, but I am sure that we will see at least one more. But the real question that we all wonder about is what will Dream's next series be? It'll actually be two series. The first series will be a shuffle series. Aside from any Manhunt-esque videos, this is Dream's second most popular series. These videos have included Block Shuffle, Death Shuffle, and Death Swap. In general, it's a challenge where two people have to complete a task, but they're competing against each other. These are the types of videos that Dream seems to enjoy making, as we've seen him do them in live streams in the past just for the fun of it. In addition, the possibility for the types of challenges that he can do extend far beyond what he's already done. He can do advancement challenges, building challenges, handicap challenges, or whatever his mind can think of. And that's one of the greatest aspects of this type of video. As long as you have two or three competing against each other to achieve a task, then the direction that Dream takes these videos can be endless. But why this series over other series? The first basic answer is that it's a series that is already established that people like. If you're making YouTube videos and you find success, there's no real reason to stray away from that. Another reason why he would do this series is the enjoyment that I mentioned before. Dream has to enjoy the type of videos that he makes, and if Dream will play these challenge games just for the fun of it, without turning them into videos, that is a good sign that he really enjoys making these. The second series that Dream will most likely continue to do is the Manhunt Variant series. 
This series doesn't include any direct manhunts, like the manhunt with Mr. Beast or Illumina, but rather videos such as Speedrunner vs. Assassin and the Random Item Challenge. I had mentioned that the challenge series we previously talked about was Dream's most popular series outside of manhunt-esque videos, but these are the manhunt-esque videos, and they have much higher popularity. These videos are averaging 20 to 45 million views, and with the 45 million view video, it is even higher than the previous three 500 manhunt videos. So, as with the challenge series, the base for this manhunt-related content is already there. Dream has also mentioned before that he would love to do more videos like The Survivalist and Assassin in the future, especially in an effort to stray away from strictly doing manhunts. I have a very hard time seeing Dream stray completely away from manhunts. It's what he built his fame off of, and although he can't last forever doing the same thing over and over, it's the variance of what brought him success that will keep him climbing up the YouTube ladder. I see it similar to automotive YouTubers. They work on cars, and then one of the cars they work on blasts up their ratings. And after they finish building that car, they will continue to work on more cars, but now the car they choose will follow that specific style that brought them popularity. Dream is in the same situation, and seeing how successful different variants of Manhunt can be, for him to eliminate any type of Manhunt would be foolish. On top of it all, we do know that one more Manhunt is coming. The Manhunt in real life. Now Dream, I know real life Manhunt sounds cool, because it is, but you know what no one wants to see? 45 minutes of you panting trying to catch your breath because you're out of shape. So hit me up and let's get you in shape for the hunt. Plus, we know you need a cameraman, so I got you. After looking at these series, it's only right to wonder about his other series. Will Dream keep his Minecraft butt series? Honestly, I don't think so. I wouldn't be surprised if every now and then he did something of that nature, but I think the series has run its course. When we first saw this series, it was a generally new idea, and since then, so many other people on YouTube have done Minecraft butt videos that for Dream to make a video with an original idea would be hard. Essentially, the market for this series has become so saturated that seeing Dream try to keep this series going seems futile. Finally, there is the option for a new series, and I believe that this is the wild card that will keep Dream going for a long time. It's collaboration. It sounds simple, but Dream actually rarely does collab videos, and when he does, they're specific collabs that already align with the other person's persona. Videos like having Illumina be in a manhunt, or having Mr. Beast be in a manhunt, which wasn't a new series, but rather just a variation. Dream didn't have to come up with the idea for it, he just had to simply insert another person into an idea that he had already created. If you look way back to the beginning of Dream's channel after he got famous, there was the last to leave the circle video. This video is a one-off, but I honestly think that Dream may do more of these. I doubt that Dream would do a video like what Tommy does, where it's a massive collab where you have no idea what the video is really about, but rather do a video where Dream gets a bunch of creators together to do certain challenges that he comes up with. I think this series would be great for Dream as well. Not Dream as a creator, but Dream as a person. Dream seems to be a bit more of a secluded guy. Not to the point where he doesn't want to be out with people, but he's not overly loud and aggressive like Tommy or Jay Schlatt or other big name streamers. In addition, when he does interact with others outside of George and Sapnap, it seemed like he's more inwardly focused. It's tough to explain, but I mean it in the sense that it seems like when he interacts, he does it for a purpose and not just to entertain. Think about his role in the Dream SMP, for example. He's there and he plays a part, but he doesn't do it in a way that tries to get the audience behind him. He does it on his own accord, not worrying about what other people think. The point that I'm trying to get at is that I think it would be perfect to have him as a director for collab videos rather than a participant. If he was the one to set up and run the events for others to participate in, then I think he would enjoy it so much more than trying to roleplay for some video. Now I will admit, this series is something more of a speculation based on how I perceive Dream's character and interest, but I believe that if he does do collab videos for his own channel, this is what they would look like. The hardest part about speculation is the unknown. Dream uploads so little that it can be very hard to tell exactly what he's going to do. I mean, he's only uploaded 8 videos in the last year, and 5 of those videos were the 5 Hunters Manhunt series. So, we have 3 videos in the last year that aren't Manhunt for us to base some sort of theory off of. But here is one part that I feel most certain about. Dream is happy with where he's at. I don't mean that in the sense that he doesn't want to improve, because I know he does. But he's at a point where just about all of the stress is gone. I mean, what if his next series flops and only averages 10 million views per video? Step back for not even half a second. 10 million views a video. That would be a flop for Dream, but if I even got one video of that nature, it would be the greatest thing in the world for me. Whatever Dream decides to do, we will continue to watch. I'm sure that less people may watch than the peak of the manhunts, but everyone has to grow and move on at some point. Even things we were good at come and go, but as you move from one season to the next, more opportunities arise that you could have never seen coming. So, no matter what happens, we will be there to enjoy the show.